Hey y'all, welcome to Sunflower Tasha DIYs. I'm Tasha. I like to do arts, crafts, DIYs, recreation, and thrift flips, and sometimes I like to do trash to cash as well on my channel. I hope you guys enjoy my first project, my project number one. So the first thing I do here is I have these bag of strips that I have been using on my channel for quite a while now, and I wanted to use them up today, and I do just that. So I go ahead and I iron every single one of those out. And then after I do that, I take this pumpkin stack that I got at the Dollar Tree in the plus section. It was $5 for this pumpkin stack. And I go ahead and spray paint all three of them white. The only thing I wish I would have done is spray painted the inside, but I did not. So now that you see they're all done and these are stackable, they're super cute. So what I do is I go ahead and I take these strips and I use my fabric tack or well it's like a three in one tack but it's also like a fabric tack and I go ahead and put all these strips all the way around this entire pumpkin and I do like kind of like a little pattern because I didn't quite have enough of the buffalo um, gingham one so I went ahead and did a pattern here so like I did Instead of doing the, when I didn't have a gingham one, I did the, um, like the off-white color like that. And that's what it looks like when it's done. So the next one I do, I get this yarn, and I got this yarn from Hobby Lobby. And I did it in the black and the white. And then I'm taking a strip of that leftover fabric, and I'm putting it on the stem like so. And then I just go ahead and trim that up. And then after I'm done putting the black pieces all around this pumpkin which I will show you here in just a second I just measured it like this and then on this one I just used my hot glue gun and went just like this all the way around the entire pumpkin now I'm taking this rope from the Dollar Tree it's called a nautical rope and I go ahead and wrap this entire stem around this pumpkin like so and then when I was done, I did take a lighter and get off all those wild, like, crazies that come out of those little Dollar Tree ropes. Y'all know what I'm saying. But isn't this cute so far? I'm absolutely loving this farmhouse decor that I have created for y'all today on my channel. This stem was super easy to make. And then I just trimmed off that little piece. I kept going around as much as I could. And then I glued the end there and just stuffed it down inside of itself. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and tell you about today's collaboration. This is hosted by DIY with Aria, One Way Designs 238, and Lowly D's Cre Creation. Yeah, I can't talk. And then their co-host today is Kathy Jo DIYs. Y'all love Kathy Jo. We all do. And we're so glad to have you here as a co-host today. And I want to say thank you to these lovely people for having me on the playlist today. And I'd like to tell my subscribers, don't forget to watch down in my description box. So we're going to move ahead to project number two. And I have this little candy dish thing from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to go ahead and use some Mod Podge here. And then I have this white, like, silvery mica powder. And I also have a little bit of white ink. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix these together. In this little dish with the Mod Podge and I'm also going to go ahead and put some of this maca powder in there and then I mix it together this is going to be my first layer for my little plastic dish here because I am going for that crackle effect and I will show y'all how I do that once I get this Mod Podge painted on this will dry white instead of clear like the Mod Podge does but um, it was still a little bit too much of an orange for me. So I go ahead in with the second coat of the Mod Podge and I just dabbed it on with my dabber. And then as soon as I was done, I took my Snow White paint from Waverly and I had a wonderful subscriber send me this and I'm just so grateful for her. And then I take this um, chalk paint as well and I just stiffle it all over the top of where that Mod Podge was all over this, y'all. It turns out so cute and I can't wait for you to see it. Now, I have this little strip of um, fabric. This strip actually came from Joann's. I bought a big, like, big uh, 
skein, I guess you call it, or a yard or half a yard. I don't even remember how much. But I went ahead and bought some of that for my Joann's. I'm sorry I'm off frame, y'all. It's really hard to stay on frame here sometimes when you have to stand up to do stuff. But I just wrapped it around this little candy cane dish like so. And then I, I even went around them bits sticking out a little bit. All right, and then I put one of those little LED little lights in there. And now I'm going to go ahead and use this, um, what you call it, this ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And that, like, orangey gingham. And you'll see why I use the orange at the end of the video, y'all. Because this is an orange pumpkin. And you can, like I said, it has the crackle effect. So that little bit of light of the orange pops through. Y'all, it's so, so cute. I love it. I love it. I hope y'all loved it too. And that's going to pretty much be it for this one. But I do, I did go ahead and decide that I was like, mm, the stem was looking a little crusty on the top. I didn't like that. So I wrapped it with some jute twine. And then I have this wire that's wrapped in some like paper. And I go ahead and use that for that little, I already forgot what it's called. Somebody had told me I already forgot. But I just made that look cute. I was going to add a little, um, leaf but I decided not to all right y'all project number three I have these little wood circles that come in like a little pack from Walmart I think it was it had a bunch of little like bits in it with like little squares and rectangles and whatnot um but I just I just had this, a few of those in my stash but I was thinking about using this for a handle here because I'm gonna make me like one of them little faux fake fake wagon things um, instead I use these little skinny sticks that you can get from the Walmart and I just grabbed two of them out of there and then after, uh, oh, and then that little crate come from the Dollar Tree, y'all. And then I went and grabbed my Waverly Antique Wax. I only got a little tiny bit of this left, um, but I'm going to use it up as much as I can here. Still got like, you know, maybe, uh, an eighth left in the bottom of this jar. And I'll just use my baby wipe to go ahead and put this all over this crate, y'all. That's just the fastest and easiest way I've found to do it. Now, I did have to use a paintbrush to go in, in between them cracks. But after I was done, I did the same thing with the little wheels that we're going to put on here. But this is with um, the black paint from um, Apple Barrel. And I just do go ahead and do with the uh, baby wipe. And then I also give it a coat without the baby wipe with like my paintbrush I can't remember if I showed you all that I think I do I don't remember nope this is me doing the other side because I didn't want you to be able to see that wood un you know the unfinished wood on my project I wanted, wanted it to look very complete oh yeah I did I did show y'all with the paintbrush here it is it only took just a second and I only did one side I didn't both do both sides and now I'm going to take that little um wood skinny stick from the Dollar Tree and I did cut another piece down like this off that second one to make it look like a little tiny handle and then I put these little wheels on or you know they're not really wheels but y'all you, you know what I'm saying <laughs> like this and I tried to line them up with the end of the crate and that first like little line or whatever like this and I'm not done yet because I have to get my you know I have to figure out a way to get this on there. So I go ahead and just did the strip like this. But I did cut it down because, you know, it was too big to go around there. And I, I don't know why for the life of me I didn't cut it first. But I didn't. <laughs> I didn't want to show you all the rest. All right. Number four is this ugly little pumpkin we got from the Goodwill. It cost me a dollar. We're going to go ahead and get it nice and cute here. But first I'm going to get all this off and get this area cleaned up. And then after I painted it with my snow white paint, I did take a, um, I have like this black string. I went ahead and did it around the stem on there, but I didn't want to, you guys didn't want to have to see me do that. It took forever. And then I have this space sign from the Dollar Tree. I went ahead and cut off that little star on there. And now I'm just doing my baby wipe method with, you know, dabbing on the baby wipe with some color, which is the black. And I went ahead and put this faith down with my hot glue. And that's that's it. I do add this cute little um, gingham bow. There's that string that I use for the um, 
the little stumpy thing on the pumpkin. I already figured out what that thing was called too. And then I just make me a cute little gingham bow for the top of this, y'all, because you guys know how much I love the gingham. I've been, I haven't been trying to use a lot of it lately, but I wanted to make me a little bit of farmhouse decor, you know, for fall too, instead of all collar. All right, y'all, I want to go ahead and say thank you for all the hosts and the co-hosts today for having me on the playlist. Y'all are absolutely amazing. And i like to say thank you to all my subscribers. I really appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. And y'all are so special to me, and you guys are the reason why I have my channel. Now I have one more little thing for you. This is my front porch that I had decorated for fall. And I figured I'd throw this in here because this is probably my last video for fall this year. I might do one more next next month. I don't know, like a Thanksgiving vibes feel, but I'm pretty much over fall, y'all. I've been doing it all these last few months. But these are my cute little pumpkins and my little setup here. I just love it. I go to Spearfish, um, South Dakota to, to get my pumpkins every year, and I just love it. I have these cute little signs from the Dollar Tree. I had to actually jerry-rig a little, like, loop on the back so I could tie it down to my porch because I live in a windy state and let me tell you them things that go flying away look at my cute little pumpkin stack I just love pumpkin jaws my favorite time of the year and about the only time I decorate my porch <laughs> and look at how cute my little scarecrow girl is I got her from Menards I just love her she's so adorable I love her little dress this little Hello Pumpkin y'all got in the $5 spot or whatever from the plus section at the Dollar Tree. And I do do still have my clothespin wreath hanging up there. And then I have my little colorful pumpkins here. And y'all don't mind my husband's shoes right there. <laughs> Alright y'all, here's the final reveal of everything um, all together stacked up. Now I did make these lanterns and that grateful sign as well on my channel. If y'all want to go ahead and check that out, I'll link that in the description box. And I did also make these little minis on, on my little tear tray there as well. But I hope y'all enjoyed today's video and my little farmhouse feel here. Although my front porch isn't done pretty much in farmhouse style. But it is done. And I wanted to show y'all how beautiful it is. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I'm going to show y'all with the lights off here right quick so you can see how beautiful that pumpkin looks. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I just love it all glowing and pretty so beautiful i had to get a funky like picture there of that one but i hope you guys enjoyed my little wagon and my little faith and god bless y'all i hope y'all have a great day and i just want to say thank y'all again for watching my channel and my my video today and don't forget to like everybody on the playlist if you want you can follow me on um, instagram at sunflower tasha diy's or Sunflower Tasha DIYs Gallery. I have two of them. One's personal and one's not. Alright, thanks y'all. Bye.